morning we prepare our hearts. Turn with me to number 386. We come as guests invited. 386. Let's sing the first two verses. <laughs> Because Steve and his wife, they're the ones who are the head of it, don't have any idea what's coming down the road. Dog, cat, guinea pig, who knows what it's going to be. But they're willing to take care of it. This table here shows us what God has done for us. Dog, cat, Bill Russell, Mark, John Johnson, God didn't know when Jesus hung there on the cross, or when he rose, but he knew he loved us. So this morning, as we take the bread, drink the wine, it's a love gift from God. Just like that animal shelter is a place of rescue for those animals. On the night that he was betrayed, Jesus met with his disciples one last time. And they had a meal. And the meal ended. And when the meal was over, Jesus reached down at his place. He had stood before them. And he picked up a loaf of bread. And he broke it. And he blessed it. And he gave thanks for it. And he said to them, This is my body that's broken for you for the forgiveness of your sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Then he took a glass of wine and he gave thanks for it and he blessed it. And he said to them, This is my blood, the blood of the new covenant shed for the sins of you and all who follow after you. Drink you all of it in remembrance of me. Loving God, sometimes our words are just totally inadequate. Sometimes we're tongue-tied when we speak to you. We 
don't know how to confess. We don't know how to say thank you. Sometimes we don't even know how to have conversation with you. And yet you know our hearts. And you know our hearts are thankful for what you've done through up for us, through your Son, Jesus. In his name, amen.